The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker is an amazing game with tons of content and a surplus of items. One of the most useful being the iconic Wind Waker that allows you to change the direction of the wind and other things. But in a game all about controlling the wind, is it all that necessary? That's why today we'll be foregoing the Wind Waker and seeing if it is possible to defeat the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker without the Wind Waker. There are some rules to this run, one being glitches are allowed such as manual super swim and zombie hover. Number two, I will be using cheats such as infinite swim to simulate manual super swim because I don't have the skill or time to complete these glitches or actually do them. Number three, I'm allowed to have the Wind Waker, I just can't use it. There's no way of getting around uh, getting it. And number four, the challenge is considered complete when Ganon is defeated at the end of the game. And with the rules out of the way, let's begin. Now to start off, you want to name your character whatever you want, it's not really important. Now to start off, you want to do a immediate manual super swim. Now what this is, is basically a regular super swim, but it's manual. So what that means is that you're basically pause buffering every frame and pressing back and forward on the analog stick just like this. As you can see, it's a very time consuming process, but that's why I just use cheats so I can basically swim infinitely. But uh, this is what it looks like, just so you know. It's an actual glitch, it does work, it just takes a very long time. And yeah, so this is what a human looks like when it's doing it, and this is what a robot looks like when it's doing it. As you can see in a few seconds, here's what the task looks like when it's doing the manual super swim. As you can see, it's going very fast, very, very fast. So the goal of the glitch is to get insane backward speed, so you have enough speed to get to Dragon Roost Island. You can see you also need an air refill, so yeah, it's pretty insane. Now once you swim to Dragon Roost Island, this is actually where you get the Wind Waker. There is no way to skip the tutorial. A little unfortunate for our circumstances, but we can live. So this is where the tutorial happens. You get the Wind Waker, King of Red Lion says, hey, this is how you use it, and yeah, he's also invisible because you didn't play the game correctly. Normally it takes you quite a bit and you actually see the King of Red Lions, but for this he's invisible, just ignore him. He's also broken, so we can't ride him. So we have to do the manual super swim everywhere now, so that's cool. Now you want to enter Dragon Room's Cavern and get to the mini boss area and collect the grappling hook. Then from there you want to go ahead and defeat the dungeon as normal. Once done with that dungeon you want to go ahead and save and quit and you'll respawn back here. You want to go ahead and super swim to with this submarine right here. It has three drafts outside. Once you get to the submarine you want to get caught immediately. All you got to do is walk in and say hi to the locals. They'll, they'll arrest you for some reason. Don't ask why, they just, they just do it. No reasons why. Up, oh, there goes Link, back to jail. Once you've escaped jail, you want to go ahead and jump down here. This will allow you to get the Gossip Zone cutscene. This is actually very important. If you don't get it, I believe this will soft lock your game once you hit into Forsaken Fortress 2. So make sure you get it now and so you don't have to come back. After you get the Gossip Zone, go to this tower right here and make sure you take care of this guard. He'll actually make it so it's impossible to cross, so make sure you kill him before you proceed to get your sword. Next you want to grab your sword and kill the guard and go through the door. Once at Windfall Island you want to go to the jail cell and free Tingle. This will allow you to get the Tingle Tuner which is a very important item that will allow you to do the zombie hover. Now what that is is a crazy mess but basically it allows you to move while being dead as long as you have a Game Boy Advance, but I don't have that, so I'm going to have to use some cheats because I really don't want to buy a Game Boy Advance. It's just too much money, I think. I haven't looked. 
But uh, yeah, Tinkle will give you a Game Boy Advance thingy. Looks like that. It's pretty cool, Tinkle Tuner. So yeah, it'll allow you to uh, do the, the, the zombie hover thingy. Yeah. After that, you want to go ahead and buy the sale for 80 rupees. You actually need it. I believe King of Red Lions will get broken later on if you don't have the sale. So just make sure you get it. It's only 80 rupees. Just go around the town, find some pots, break some pots, do some pot, etc., etc., until you get the sale. And as fun as it is, you have to do another super swim all the way to Great Fish Isle. After you watch that amazing cutscene, this will trigger a new event in the game that will allow you to get bombs. Once you have watched this amazing cutscene, you want to go ahead and super swim all the way to Windfall. Once there, you'll find a cool looking ship, and from there, you want to roll clip into it, because we don't have time to watch fancy cutscenes. The way you roll clip into any specific item, such as this ledge right here, is just like that, kind of, but except you have to have a more specific frame. It's a one frame trick and all you have to do is just uh, keep on trying, grab the edge of the ledge and roll right into it. Just like that, you'll have a roll clip. Now from here you want to go turn around and very slowly make your way towards the door. This takes me a very, very long time. Once inside the pirate ship you'll find our favorite friend, Miko. He's right there. He actually was there the entire time even though we didn't see him before. So he's our he's our good friend. He's gonna give us the bombs if we complete a little challenge. All we gotta do is press a little button and go from rope to rope without the timer expiring and we get free bombs. Not too hard. Oh, but this time he's made it so much harder. Now, there's a gate. So we have a strict timeline. And a few ropes later, we now have bombs. Then after that, guess what? Another super swim, but this time all the way to Forest Haven. Hopefully, you know where this is going. Guess the Deku Leaf, you were right. We're getting the Deku Leaf. And we're also doing Bulb Skip, which is a pretty cool swag strat. Now after using a few swag strats, you want to go ahead and collect this wonderful leaf. And then you want to go ahead and sail right on over here, and you might find that we're stuck. By default, the game's wind faces east on startup, so... How are we going to remedy this situation, you might ask? Well, we're going to zombie hover all the way over there. And since I don't have the skill or talent to zombie hover, here's a video of someone doing it. I'll link it in the description down below. Now essentially what a zombie hover is, is exactly what it sounds like. Link can hover while he's dead. As you can see, he has to get to the entrance of the Forbidden Woods. And all you need to do is drop down a bomb, slash it, and spam A and B as hard as you can. Next, you want to go ahead and defeat Caledemus and collect the next pearl. Next item on our list is the bow, so we want to go and put all the pearls on the pedestals and head to the Tower of the Gods. Complete it until you get to this room right here, and once you save the first statue, the game is over. Well, not quite. Kind of, maybe. But what the statue does is it unlocks the command melody, which, as you might guess, requires the Wind Waker. But I'm not really sure if using the Wind Waker to learn something is technically using it. I'm going to say it is, and I'm going to say the challenge has failed. As you can see, we can't progress without using the Wind Waker. It's kind of needed. So uh, run over it, kind of? That may be the end of this video, but if you guys find a way to get around this, let me know in the comments below. It's really unfortunate that this is the one point that we have to use the Wound Waker. I thought I rooted it out correctly, but I guess I just forgot one thing. There is an island somewhere on the map that gives you the quiver, which gives you the bow, making this dungeon completely obsolete. But it has thorns in the way, and to make those thorns go away, you need the Skull Hammer, which you get from a mini boss in Forsaken Fortress 2. But in order to fight that mini boss, you're going to need the Master Sword, which you can't get because you can't leave Hyrule once you are there. Well guys, let me know if I missed something, and with that, I'm going to have to call this video a fail. You cannot beat The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, without a Wind Waker. Really unfortunate, but uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. If you want more information about all the glitches that I've used, there'll be some in the description along with all the footage that I used, so make sure to check that if you uh, want to see the entire speedrun. So uh, that's why the language has been changing, just in case you've uh, been curious about that. I've been using a speedrun from, I believe, Gymnast86, 
just for the footage because I couldn't collect it because I'm not good at speedrunning or using any sort of glitch like whatever he's doing right now. I was trying to roll clip or something. Well, with that, I'm out. Have a nice day. Bye.